This morning, Apple kicked off its third event in as many months. The one more thing that the company had up its sleeve was, as expected, new Macs. After announcing its long-awaited move from Intel chips to first-party silicon at its Worldwide Developers Conference earlier this year, Apple revealed the first three systems to sport the technology, the MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and Mac Mini. Starting at $999, the new MacBook Air promises 3.5 times faster performance and 5 times faster graphics than earlier models, courtesy of the new M1 chip. The system gets up to 18 hours of video playback on a single charge. Apple says it's capable of editing multiple streams of 4K ProRes video in Final Cut Pro, and manages all of that without a fan. The new 13-inch MacBook Pro, meanwhile, promises a nearly 2.8 times performance bump and 5 times faster graphics than its predecessor, and it gets up to 20 hours of battery life, which is the longest life for a MacBook. The new Pro once again sports a touch bar and starts at $1299. Last but not least, the oft-neglected Mac Mini will also be getting the M1 chip. The Mini sports up to 3 times faster CPU performance and up to 6 times faster graphics in a small package that supports 6K displays. The pint-sized desktop starts at $699. All of the new models are available for pre-order from Apple starting today, and they start shipping next week. The company ended its last event of the year with a comedic flourish. Comedian John Hodgman made a brief and unexpected return as the PC from the classic Get a Mac ads. But, like the long-rumored AirTags and AirPod Studios, longtime sidekick Justin Long as the Mac was nowhere to be seen. Read more about everything Apple announced today at TechCrunch.com.